I'm Ken Doan. I was born in 1940, and I'm an artist. I'm Tim Ross. I wasn't born in 1940. <laughs> I was born in 1970, oh. and uh, I'm a comedian, so that makes me a bullshit artist. Well, something like that. Uh, Ken and I are friends. I want him to be my dad. Did I say that? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. I can say that. Uh, I was doing an exhibition at the Powerhouse Museum a couple of years ago, and one of Ken's his placemats were in it, so uh, I sought him out for that, and we've been mates ever since. I lived in Belmore during the 40s. My father was away in the war. I didn't see my dad until I was five. And um, my mother and my aunt encouraged me you know, to draw, as most parents do. I was 14 and a half when I left school, and so I had to get a special exemption to leave school, to go to art school. And uh, I'm always grateful for my parents allowing me to do that because there are no artists in our family. We didn't know where it would lead to or what it would do. No one knew much about it. When I left art school, I guess I could be best described as a graphic designer. So I worked essentially in advertising agencies, solving problems, visual problems. Advertising is a fascinating business if you have nice accounts and if you're really good at it. Once I left advertising, I knew I wanted to have an exhibition and I wanted to have an exhibition in a big commercial gallery. I wanted to show that I could do that. And so I shared an exhibition with David Boyd, 29th of June, 1980, my, four, my 40th birthday. So no one knew anything about me you know, before that. You have to believe that what you do is good. And you have to believe that it can work on lots of different things. The T-shirts took off mushroomed into posters, greeting cards and calendars, and the Doan industry was underway. Look, if Van Gogh was alive at the moment, he'd be bloody doing sunflower dresses. It's okay to reach a wide audience, and it's actually okay for people to like your work. In the 80s, I could draw koalas who are so cute that nine-year-old Japanese girls fainted <laughs> by their very bloody cuteness. I think the, the thing that loomed large for me when I was a kid were those, those series of mojo ads. They said you'd never make it with your colourful ideas Mr. Doan, it's too outrageous. We won't hang that canvas here. And there you are, and you've got the models, and you've got that jacket on. Got the jacket, the jacket. <laughs> they said you'd never make it, but you finally came through. We love celebrating that, the idea that we're the underdog. And I suppose, as a kid, it's like, yeah, we can do this stuff. Yeah. I spent no time with art critics, I, I, I even opened my own art gallery, which is certainly not something that artists were supposed to do. But bugger it, this is the 80s. I would hope that sometime in my lifetime, I might do something that is good enough to be put in the permanent collection of the art gallery of New South Wales. Are you not represented? No. Oh. No. So, but you can't. Look, we shouldn't even talk about this. If it happens, it happens. I think that's a disgrace. You don't have to. Well. <laughs> Look, if you do something that's very fashionable and that people like it, and people think, wow, that is great. That is fantastic. Well, I don't know, there's a lot of that. Oh no, it's every, oh, bleh, we hate it. And then it comes back round again, and a whole other generation starts to reponder. And they say, oh, they, that's really good. So in the big circle of life, I'm, I'm up there. I hope I'm not like one minute to 12. And look, I'm only 79. I've got another 50 years. I <laughs> hope. 
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.